Dwayne Wade was traded to the Miami Heat for absolutely nothing. Yes, a second round pick in 2024. The Cavaliers are literally admitting that this offseason was a failure. Jay Crowder's gone, Derrick Rose is gone, Isaiah Thomas is gone, and they're just bringing all these like young guys in, or at least these draft picks in, just to uh, just to like maybe compensate for all of this. And when it comes to this all, the team just simply did not work out. And when it comes to Dwayne Wade, Dwayne Wade is like LeBron James's best friend, and they traded him for Diddley Squad, a second round pick in 2024. I guess that means that Dwayne Wade is going to be used as a mentor piece for one of the players that's um, comparable to a Dwayne Wade that's on Miami Heat roster. Because Miami Heat is a fairly young team with a bunch of decent players, and I guess they want to tag on some more depth. Now, ideally, if I was Miami Heat, maybe I would want uh, Isaiah Thomas, but obviously Isaiah Thomas is with the Lakers right now, of course. But ideally, if you bring in uh, Thomas, he could possibly get your team to the playoffs. That's what Thomas can. He can be your main focus guy for a team to potentially make the playoffs just if they just want that berth. And that's what he did for the 2014 Celtics, and that's what the Lakers are looking for for this season. And when it comes to Dwayne Wade, I think he's a completely mentor. Now, when it comes to Wade and all that, his um, agent died, who is also Sean Livingston's agent and was uh, Chris Bosch's agent. And when it comes to this and all, uh, he died recently, so I guess that he got hit some hard times, so they just sent him back to his NBA hometown. Obviously, he's from Chicago and all that, but he's going back to his NBA hometown. And ideally, this really doesn't do m much for the Miami besides adding depth, and this is just the Cavaliers meeting that this offseason just really sucked for them. It, it just did. And that's unfortunate because, obviously, the Cavaliers are the one team that's destined to beat the Golden State Warriors. Some people think the Houston Rockets can potentially beat them on their way there, but ideally that's highly unlikely.